everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about separation anxiety, which emerges during a baby's first year. And if you're looking for many more tips and tricks and support and guidance throughout year one, click on the link in the comments below, send us your email, and we will send you our year one resource kit for free. Now, the first thing that you need to know about separation anxiety is that it is not only normal, but it's actually a sign that your baby is advancing in both cognitive and emotional development. Now, it may not feel this way when your little one is in distress, but remember that this is a natural and universal phase of child development. Now, depending on a child's temperament, uh, the severity of separation anxiety will vary. For some families, this is gonna be a significant challenge, while for others, it will simply be a phase that passes. But either way, it can be helpful to understand why separation anxiety occurs and what you can do to manage it. So, newborn babies believe that they are one with their mothers. Around seven months, they begin to understand that they are a separate person. And it's this realization that can create stress when there's moments of separation. Now, babies don't really understand that uh, mom, dad, or their primary caregiver is going to return after they've left a room. Around the same time, object permanence is developing. And this means that they know that you still exist even when you, they can't see you. And when they can't see you, their natural urge is to seek you out. So now that we understand a little bit more about why separation anxiety occurs, let's talk about what we can do about it. And we're gonna separate these into separation anxiety do's and don'ts. What you can do is keep goodbyes brief, be reassuring, and be consistent. Remember at this phase, babies are reading our emotions, even mimicking or mirroring our emotions. So try to be calm and confident when you're saying goodbye. I know this can be so, so tough when your little one is upset, but the more relaxed you can be, the better it is for your child. You can also consider leaving behind an object, a picture of you, an article of clothing, something that can create a sense of security while you're gone. And when possible, try to create time for adjustment. For instance, if you are leaving your child with a new nanny, have that nanny over, spend time together, uh, practice leaving the room and returning, and just give your child an opportunity to adjust to their presence. Okay, so let's go over a few separation anxiety don'ts. Don't try to use time as a reassurance. You are naturally gonna say things like, I'll be right back, or I'll only be gone an hour, and that will happen, but always understand that babies and toddlers have no concept of time, so this will not be reassuring for them. Also, don't be alarmed when they cry. Always remember that this is a natural and healthy phase of development, the crying actually is a sign that they're forming a secure attachment with you. And remember that they will recover and move on in your absence. And last, try to avoid sneaking out. We know that goodbyes can be upsetting, but sneaking out without saying goodbye can actually create more stress for little ones. So keep that in mind. And that's all we have for today on separation anxiety. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.